Hi, my name is Dr. Chun Yifeng. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist at the International Specialist Eye Center, Kuala Lumpur. I'll be talking about strabismus, or what is commonly known as squint. What is strabismus? Strabismus is a misalignment of the eyes whereby the eyes are not straight. It is estimated that 3 to 4 percent of the population has strabismus. Most are mild, but some need medical attention. There are many types of strabismus, and it is complex and is a vast topic for discussion. For the purpose of this video, I'll be doing a general introduction of strabismus. More videos with specific types of strabismus will follow, so watch this space. So what causes strabismus? Most childhood onset strabismus is the result of an abnormality of poorly understood neuromuscular and brain control of eye movement. Some are caused by refractive error, in other words, needing glasses. An example is hyperopia, or commonly known as farsightedness which can cause convergent squint if the hyperopia or the farsightedness is not corrected with glasses. Strabismus is more common in families with a family history of squint. However, the vast majority of strabismus occurs in children who are otherwise completely normal and have no family history. Conditions that affect the brain, such as cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, hydrocephalus, and brain tumour are more likely to develop strabismus. Poor vision or an abnormal eye may also cause strabismus. Therefore, it is vitally important that the child with squint should have an assessment by an eye specialist. Adult onset squint are usually acquired. Stroke is the leading cause of strabismus in adults. The other causes include trauma, neurological problems, and thyroid eye disease. How does strabismus affect a person? Strabismus can cause a variety of problems. Strabismus can cause amblyopia, or commonly known as lazy eye, in children. When the eyes are orientated in different directions, the brain receives two different visual images. In children, the brain may suppress and ignore the image from the misaligned eye in order to avoid double vision, resulting in poor vision and poor visual development of the ignored eye. Strabismus can also cause the loss of 3D vision, sometimes known as stereopsis. 3D vision requires normal eye alignment, and if the person has strabismus, 3D vision is no longer possible Loss of 3D vision can result in developmental problems and in higher risk of accidental injury. Strabismus can cause diplopia or double vision. Since the eyes are not aligned and are pointing in different directions, double vision often results, especially in later onset adult strabismus. This double vision can be very debilitating, making common tasks like driving impossible. Strabismus can also affect psychosocial well-being of the person. Children and adults with strabismus are often subjected to bullying, discrimination, and psychosocial maladaptation, resulting in loss of educational and career opportunities. In view of the problems strabismus can cause, it is important to treat strabismus in a timely fashion. This can result in a vastly improved quality of life. How is strabismus treated? The goal of strabismus treatment is to improve eye alignment which allows for better eyes of working together and therefore achieving binocular vision. It is important to treat strabismus early to have the best outcome. Treatment may involve eyeglasses, eye exercises, prisms and or eye muscle surgery. Problems associated with strabismus, including amblyopia or lazy eye, or a droopy lid, cortosis, or cataract, should also be treated, and these are usually done prior to the eye muscle surgery. I will be posting more videos about different types of strabismus in the near future. Thank you for watching.